ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to hit some garage sales. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. It's another Saturday morning. It's time to hit some garage sales. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. It's 64 degrees right now, so it's cool. It's not humid. So I'm gonna hit up a little street sale first. They get there a little early, and then uh, there's like a little community garage sale that's in a church uh, field. That I'm gonna hit after that. I've done good at both of these places before, so hopefully today they pan out. And then from there, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, man. It might just be a kind of a freestyle day. I don't know. Just hit some stuff on the map, try to find some random sales. But uh, you ready, buddy? Yeah. Let's go. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. The news is fake. Does this not light up? No. No? Okay. It only has one battery and it takes one battery. Oh! It takes one battery. Why is there that little thing there? Morning. How you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Hey, look, there's a pullback car. I have one of those, but I just don't know where it is. A pullback. Yeah. Oh, no, you're fine. Santa stop, Santa. Look, just like the trees in the snow. You know if there's any more video game stuff? No. That's it? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. 
I should have raided my kids' closet, but I didn't. <laughs> you should have. <laughs> if I could have. Oh, I never knew. This is just the rocks, like minerals. Oh, okay. Yeah, do you know what this game is? You know what that game is? Oh, that's cool. Daddy. What? You know what that game is? Foosball. Like, you ever heard of it? Yeah, it's like where you try to get the ball and don't miss the ball. Yeah. Well, that's a pretty necklace. How much are these? I, I didn't even put a price on them. I don't even know. I have no idea either. either. <laughs> Five bucks? I have no idea. Five anyway. bucks. Spider. Uh oh. There's a book underneath that. I don't know if it has anything. It's terrible to say. I don't know if there's anything. Um, let's see if that out. I shouldn't have put that underneath. This one is serious. Oops. Yeah. Let me. I don't know if it's a book to tell you what they were. You know, because they're all numbered. Fluoro signs. They all come numbered, so I'm assuming it's terrible to say that inside the book tells you what things are, what numbers, you know, <laughs> they are. Yeah, that makes sense. Those are cool rocks. Those are cute. They have one rock like that, but it's a little smaller. Cool rock. Do five for both of them? Um, I'd probably do five a piece. Five a piece. Yeah. All right, I'll take them. Why not? Okay. They're cool. Yeah, I thought they were cool. I like that one right here, Dan. Which like one? one? I like that one. This fucking one. Right there. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have a good day. You too. I don't know. I don't know, buddy. Well, look. These are huge. Huh? These are huge. One of those two toys right what there are they? for Christmas. They're boys in the movie of Rome. Guys, doing? doing good. Fine. How you doing, huh? Pretty good. I think he is missing school. Look, a dark fader one. Huh? Dark fader tree. That's cool. It's cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Look, Bigfoot. We have that Bigfoot. Yeah, we got that guy, don't we? Mm -hmm. How you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good.
Hi, how are you? better if the wind wasn't blowing my stuff on my head yeah <laughs> that can get annoying huh yeah i had to move my flags here because of that oh that stinks hopefully hello it, there hopefully it don't rain i hope not it's not supposed to is it no it's not look kind of iffy for a second yes i would agree <laughs> Huh? I got a tarantula skin. <laughs> give it a kiss. Oh no, don't give it a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with him. Don't give it a kiss. <laughs> you don't like spiders, do you? No. He used to have like a little uh, one that would move around and it had his own little aquarium and stuff. Aww. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, buddy. There's some other little pouches in there. How much are the gloves? Huh? How much are the gloves? Catcher's Mitch 10, that one's uh, National 30 on that one. 30? Okay. Only a quarter. I always like that one. Morning. Morning. How you doing? Chasing on the Dreamcast. Uh, Ten dollars. Ten. I just bought the uh, Sega and he's got the... I forgot to get the yeah. controllers. <laughs> that stinks. Yeah. He I, might come back. See if I seen, so I give him to him. He might be back. <laughs>
working out so good today. Mm -hmm. What's tough is this? I'm gonna start a Blu rays. Uh, how about two by two? Is that a movie or a game? Huh? Is that a movie, movie. or a game? How about five? We'll see. Special edition night flow. That's cool. How much are them? That's 50. 50? Yeah. I got some home home and little ones there too. What's that? Yeah, those are all 50 cents. What's up guys? Shad juice here. Back from the day of garage sales, we got some pretty good stuff, man. Uh, hit up that little street sale, got an awesome uh, rare uh, car that I was gonna buy anyways. I didn't know it was rare. I didn't uh, like, you seen it in the video, but I didn't like pick it up or nothing, but I was gonna get it. But I just left it sitting there until I was done videoing. And uh, we hit up that little, uh, little flea market kind of garage sale outside of a church i did really well there i got a bunch of stuff i stayed there for a while just to keep overlooking things it wasn't a whole lot of competition uh i know people got some video game stuff there that i passed and some got it before me but uh, i wasn't too worried about it but uh let's get into it man show you this uh vintage shirt uh like hoodie i got this is a looney tunes uh hoodie it's from 1993 it says Tunes Gym, beef it up. Got Taz on there. It's also got a print on the back, which is cool. It says No Pain, No Gain. I tried to do a little research on it. It's a size large. It's got some discoloration there. It's made by Jostens. Um, I seen a shirt that was the exact same print sell for 20. So this is a hoodie. Maybe I can get a little more for it. It's pretty cool how it's double-sided i got a whole table of stuff there i set up but i just want to show a couple things in here that i couldn't really fit got this uh done done tennis racket it's probably 15 and 20 bucks i never heard of that brand before but it just seemed nice i picked it up i paid like a dollar for it got these like crafting things for my wife she uh, does the cricket she might already have something like this, but it was 50 cents. So if she already don't want it, I'll probably sell it. And there was a Fiskars. Stuff like this is expensive, man. That's cost some money at Hobby Lobby and stuff like that. And we got this uh, Monster High. I think it was a Garden Ghoul. Um, it'd probably be worth around 20 bucks, but it's not got the clothes or anything. I'll probably just throw that in a lot. No, uh, I paid like a buck for it. 
I don't have a whole lot in the car. Got these, this is a pair of Bush now uh, binoculars. I'm probably just gonna keep these. They're like 10, they're worth like 10 bucks. So I'll just keep them in the car or something. Let's get to the table over here. So I actually bought this table today because I've been wanting to do this for a while. Just like have a table out here to show you all the guys stuff I bought. It'd be easier, I thought. All right, where do we start? <laughs> Let's just start on this end. Like this is gonna be scrambled like where I got some of this stuff at. This is a Lexmark 155 XL double pack. They were asking 10 a piece. I'll get I'll have to get back to this sale in a second, but uh they're asking 10 a piece. I didn't have my phone with me. I know they're probably worth some money, but these go for like 60 bucks for a two pack. So I got them both for $15. So I should make over a hundred dollars on them. So that was a good score there. Uh, this was at a yard sale I went back to uh, cause there, I don't know if it was their son or whatever showed up, but he knew who I was, but he wouldn't tell me who he was. He said, Hey, Shad Juice, you don't know who I am, but if you're watching, man, Thanks for this deal. He gave me this uh, T25 uh, beach body for a dollar. It looked like it was all pretty new. I don't know if anything was missing or not. I didn't really look through it too much. But Thanks for the deal. Uh, if you want, say hi in the comments, man, if you want. Uh, this was also at that same street sale. This is uh, some uh, vintage like minerals. So this is a uh, glow and black light. So I actually seen this set sell for like 30 bucks on auction. And here's the rocks. It looks like this one broke. I didn't notice that. She wanted like $5 a piece. I thought they were cool. It was worth it. You know, I've seen this one sold for 30. This one I don't know nothing about. So this says fluorescent minerals. Story of fluoroscience. And it's got what? Three, six, 15 different ones in there. So this could be worth more. I have no idea. Raytech. So yeah, I got both of those for 10 bucks. I thought it was a good deal. I said, I, I don't know about this one. I didn't do any more research on it. All right, let's just move from left to right. Got this IBM uh, floppy disk, the USB. So if you wanted to use a, uh, you know, use your old floppy disk, plug it right in your USB. Got a little case. It seemed to go for about 20 bucks with the case. Might keep. I don't really know what I'll need for it. Got this really cool, uh, it's called Looney Tunes Magic Effects picture. I thought that was really neat looking. And I got Microsoft Office 2000. It looked new inside. That still sells for like 20 something bucks. So as long as it's got the codes and stuff in it. I didn't look too far into it. It only paid $2 for that little stack here. I uh, got these two Legos at that little church sale for a dollar for both. Mikey's gonna use those. This was a cool sale. I don't really get into shoes and stuff. I have been buying some, but this stuff is just cool, too cool, man. These are Robert Wayne's. They're like quarter boots, I think they're called. This is like a jean like patch design, it said. Um, I'm thinking like each pair of these boots are at least $30. So we got the jean one here. This was this. I don't know what brand these were. I just grabbed them. All those. Not sure how much them are worth. If I see something, I'll put a comp on them. But they're pretty cool. I ended up paying two bucks a piece on them. I got five pairs for ten bucks. So that was a good deal. Seemed like at a thrift store they had them or something for thirty dollars. So they could be worth some money. Not in bad shape. We got another pair of the Robert Wayne's here. Like the same design but different color. Got both of those. What size were these? I think they were like tens. Yeah, ten. 
Then I've heard people talk about this brand, Kohan. Seems like it's a little worn on the bottom, but they're in nice shape. Got that pair for two bucks. Then we got this other pair here for two bucks. These are uh, John Fluvog shoes, Future Angels. These might be around fifty dollars, man. Look at that, the bottom of that. Your soul will, your soul will direct your future. That's an interesting sole of a shoe. They're probably comfortable. Uh, not sure the size, but I would say they're probably about size ten. U.S. size M1 11, so size 11. So I got two dollars a pair on them shoes was a great deal. Also at that same sale, the first purchase was this uh, One Touch Ultra Mini Glucose System. It's brand new, and I looked it up. That's fifty dollars all day long. So that was a good score on that for three bucks. Then we got this brand new pair of Works boots. With an X, they're made by Red Wing. They're brand new. Uh, they're a little smaller size. I think they were a seven and a half, maybe. Seven and a half in men's. So, a little smaller boots, but they're brand new. I'd say at least get $30 on them guys right there. So, that was a great. I should make over $100 on these shoes, and I paid 10 bucks for them. Well, 15, including that. So that was a great score, I thought. Just got to get them listed. I'll show you some hats I bought today. I got this Bulls hat. I paired this with something and got it for three bucks. Hmm. Can't remember what it was. <laughs> I think it's vintage. It's a Mitchell and Ness, kind of like a denim hat. I didn't look into it, but I'm sure it's worth at least 15 bucks, probably. That's just a guess. Got this Vans off the wall for the halibut since 66. I thought that was neat. Nice camo hat. I've done well with Vans hats. I gotta look that one up. It's got fishing and Vans on it, so it's kind of cool. Got some vintage uh, Cincinnati sports hats. We got a vintage uh, Pinstripe Reds hat. This is uh, made by Signature Sportswear. And then we got a vintage uh, snapback of the Bengals. Still got the cardboard in there. I don't think it was ever worn. Had a little discoloration on the back. I got both of them hats for a dollar. So that was a good deal. And this here, this is like a, kind of like a DJ light that would hang in like a club or something. Changes colors, it's got a remote and everything. I think he said he bought that at a guitar center. He was going to use it for fireworks and never did. It's still brand new in the wrapping in here. The cord. I think the remote's down in there. But yeah, this sells for like 80 to 100 bucks. And I paid $5 for it. And the person that was there before me bought some video games, but they leave stuff like this. So. You can take all the video games you want. That's why I learned how to, you know, get other things. Because there's plenty of stuff to make money for. And I can buy any games I want. So that was a good deal for five bucks there. What else we got here? Picked up a DVD. Made by Grindhouse. It's not uh, worth anything. <laughs> Look at that. She's got a machine gun for a leg. Have to check that out. Uh, it seemed like this had a little bit of value, plus it seems like it's new. Spacescapes. Seen a sold comp for this movie, too. Hmm. I didn't notice I was split in half the box. It's kind of neat. It's one of them old uh, Hollywood video rentals. It's Solaris. I seen a sold comp for 15, but I might, you know, I could probably get around that, too, since it's a rental. It's kind of neat. Got a Pink Panther uh, film collection, six DVDs. That seemed like that sold for at least 15 bucks. I can't remember, but I comped it. I paid a dollar for it. And uh, the sale I got the ink at, this was the story there. So 
they had a uh, rock band drums and guitars and they had like a rock band a couple rock band games and a guitar hero game but they had prices on the games so i had the games in the list she wanted two dollars a game at first so i was like hey would you take a buck she said yeah so uh these are the games i got guinness world records spider-man 3 black ops on ps3 warrior land shaker which is probably the best game and it's probably only 12 or 13 dollar game Rapala tournament fishing. I just probably got a lot most of those up. Jenga, Red Steel 2, Disney Sing It. So I had those in Rock Band 2 and Guitar Hero. So I paid for the games and was walking away, and the guy asked about them guitar games. And he wanted them back from me after I paid. I've never had somebody like ask for something back after I paid for it. It's kind of pissed about it actually like i don't know it just wasn't cool but i did get them inks and i'm gonna make some money on them so whatever man it's not like them games are too worth anything i said well you still got the original rock band you can just leave that with the guitar one was a wii guitar one was something else without the battery pack it was just junk so dude knew i was mad because i came back to get the ink because i had I had to look it up so i came back down there and said oh did you change your mind and he apologized and stuff and i was like yeah man i've never had uh somebody take stuff back for me that i paid for i was like that ain't cool like sales over with what do you think about that guys anyways let's get back to the stuff we got got this led zeppelin album i always forget which this one this which one this is i don't know why This is just the first one. It's got Black Dog, Stairway to Heaven, all the good stuff on it. It's not going back in there. It's not in great shape. The uh, jacket's kind of messed up. It's got names written on it. She asked me how much I wanted to pay. It said 10 on it. I said 2 bucks. So I got it for 2 bucks. Picked these up at a random sale. I thought these would have some value. It's a Flintstones card game from 1961. And we got a Spider-Man playing card from 79. They're only worth like a couple bucks. I was kind of shocked, but there's some money in playing cards, but not those. All right, this came from a lady at that uh, church garage sale. Got these uh, old McDonald's uh, Bigfoot plastic cars. I remember getting these when I was a kid. I still have some. But these are new. The pink one. Got the one with the big wheels. And we got the Air Star one. It's cool. And we got this Ferrari uh, 348 TB Evolution. Not worth much, like $5 plus shipping I've seen. I'll probably just keep that. And it, this is an old lady. She had this too. It's a Sweet 16 doll from 1975. I seen a sold one. It said pre-owned in it. This one hasn't been opened, but you know the packaging is bad. But I seen a, a one sold for sixty-seven dollars. No other ones listed, so it's kind of my market on it. I might just list it a little high and uh, put buy it now on it or an offer. All right. Got this stack here for three bucks, I think. Got this Go Bible Traveler. This goes for about 20, 25 bucks. It's brand new. Remember, this stack was three bucks. We got a Marvel Pinball Collection. It's about a 12 to 15 dollar game, but I already have it, so I can sell it. Just picked this up to keep. A bunch of Halloween movies. Uh, this Midnight Club Dub Edition, which sells good on the PS2, but these are super scratched. But I didn't pay nothing for this stuff, pretty much, so. Yeah, they're pretty scratched, but never know. Might be able to fix them. Don't really have nothing into them, so. Party Monster, that's a little uncommon Macaulay Culkin movie with Seth Green, Marilyn Manson. I've never watched it, it looks kind of weird, <laughs> but 
at least ten to twelve dollar movie. Don't have much into it. This was interesting. This is called Ghetto Film School. The Criterion Collection. It's brand new sealed. Couldn't find a price on this. It's not on eBay. It's from 2015. So could be rare. I don't know. Like I said, I don't have much into it. Just took a chance on that. This was a good score right here. This is a horror a horror Stephen King collection. Are these all Stephen King's? Yeah. It's 5D set. Uh, three of them are uh, sealed still. Thinner, Langoliers, and Golden Ears are all sealed still. And the other two are in good condition. Used, this goes for 35 bucks. So maybe I could get a little more since those are sealed. So it'd be cool if I can get $50 out of that. So. Potentially, I missed a hundred dollars there off of thirty or for, off of three bucks. So, this guy had some good stuff, man. I got some more stuff from him. Got a sealed Batman uh, VHS tape. Might go for ten, fifteen dollars. Got a Led Zeppelin CD. I always pick up Zeppelin stuff no matter what. Love that band. Uh, this is from that same guy at the church sale. Got this Garmin Nuvi thirty four ninety. I looked this up. This can go over a hundred hundred dollars and up. It's missing the cord to it. That's no big deal. But for this, and I think it was this. I thought this was worth more, but I guess I got some mixed up comps. It's like twenty to thirty bucks. It's new inside. I paid five for both of those, and I think I paid three for these. This is a derma wand. This is an older one, but it's brand new still. At least 50 bucks on that. I paid two bucks for this and this bag here. This is a travel on, travel easier bag, a little travel bag. I think I can get 20 bucks for that. So, you know, people are finally going on vacation, hopefully. So, all right. We got some old guest jeans paid like so I paid these and the jeans were $10 together I forgot I had combined that deal these are vintage guest jeans they're uh main USA 100% cotton they're small I don't know if this is like teenager like I'm not, I, I'm not an expert on stuff like this but I knew these were old so I got two pairs of those and I have no clue what this one is, but you can tell they're old jeans. They do need to wash and they got a little bit of dirt on them. But what is that? Something fast or something? I don't know. The tags are old. So, yeah. All right, guys. The best find of the day ended up being this car here. It is a... Uh, it's a Mustang Fox body, which I love. That's my favorite Mustang of old Fox bodies. This is an 86. This is made by Welly, right? So I was gonna get this car anyways, just cause I like it. So in further inspection, when I looked it up, this can fetch over $200. So that was a great score. Trunk opens, the hood opens. So, do you sell it or do you keep it? <laughs> like, I like it, but do I like it that much? So, that was a great score. He had some other die casts, which after I looked a few of them up and they wasn't worth too much, but yeah, man, that's pretty awesome score there. Best score of the day by far. Guys, uh, I know the recap was kind of long, but we had a bunch of stuff today. Had a good productive day, had fun. It was nice and, it was really windy this morning, so I didn't get a lot of clips because it was kind of annoying and I had my hands full. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out. Good luck out there. Later.